video introduces various mole conversions that we'll be using this quarter. You'll want to have a good familiarity with formula mass, dimensional analysis, balancing chemical reactions, and chemical, what chemical formulas are before you start this video. The way to think about a mole is to think about it as a word that's kind of like a dozen or a pair. So when we say, I have a dozen of something, you automatically know that that word means you have 12 of something. And if you say you have a pair of something, then we know that you're really talking about the numerical value of two of something. So it's a word that tells us about an amount. One mole is a way of saying this big, huge, enormous number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. And the reason we use a mole is because in chemistry, we can't actually count out atoms, and we can't count out molecules, and we can't count out really, really, really tiny stuff unless we have access to really expensive machinery, which we don't. So this is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd small, teeny weeny things. And so a mole is a way of talking about this collection of really, really small things and it's 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. This number is known as Avogadro's number. Uh, I, just, I just spelled Avogadro wrong. Avogadro's number. And this is the definition. So, there are four ways that we will use the mole. Four different sort of flavors of mole conversions. And there are um, a number of videos that I've made that follow this one to explore each of these in more depth and to give you examples of how to do each. But we're just going to sort of introduce each here. So the first type of mole conversion is converting from moles to grams or from grams to moles. So this is pretty much going from here to here or back. When you're asked to do that or when you find that you need to do that, you would use what's called the molar mass, which happens to be the same as the formula mass. You need your periodic table to calculate this. So I've got an abbreviated periodic table here. You may recall from calculating the formula mass that you use this number down here, and the formula mass had units of AMU. The molar mass has units of grams per mole. So we could say that 9.012182 grams of beryllium equals one mole of beryllium always reference to one mole when you pull this type of number off the periodic table. So any of these guys. See those? How to know when to use that first one, the molar mass, is if you have a mass in the problem or you have some, some way of knowing that you're going to go from mass to moles. That will say, oh yeah, we should use the molar mass. If you don't have mass in the problem, then you wouldn't use this conversion. Just like if we were changing from feet to yards, I would know that I didn't need to go through liters, right? That makes sense. Second type of mole conversion is that Avogadro's number. One mole of something is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd parts of that something. So these are small things, like we said. They will be atoms, molecules, whoops, molecules, ions, or formula units. So if you are given a problem where it mentions atoms or molecules or ions or formula units, you would know, oh yeah, I need to use Avogadro's number. If the problem doesn't mention any of these terms, then you would not use Avogadro's number. So this will allow me to go between these guys, two moles, and back. Our third type of mole conversion is converting from moles of a compound to moles of element within the compound. So in this case, we might look at something like calcium bromide. And we might notice that I have one calcium and two bromines. So that's a relationship. In one mole of calcium bromide, I have one mole of calcium, or I have two moles of bromine. 
So basically I'm taking my compound formula and using mole relationships to talk about how many of each part of the, of the, of the molecule that I have. The last type of mole conversion is going to be referenced to a chemical reaction. And in this case, it would be something like, um, let's say NaCl decomposes into sodium plus chlorine. This type of conversion is going to use these coefficients in the balanced chemical reaction as mole conversions. So this will be two moles of NaCl equal two moles of Na or one mole of Cl2. So we can relate this to this or this to this or this to this. So those are the four types of mole conversions. Hopefully this will help you kind of organize your thoughts when you're approaching problems that might use multiples of these.